The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. So I could say to you, I think exactly what our good Lord said to the disciples. Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, and blessed are the ears that hear what you hear. For there are many who have desired to hear and see these things and didn't. And so what might I be talking about? As I was reflecting on this gospel this morning, I, my thought kept turning to the Holy Eucharist. Blessed are your eyes. Blessed are the eyes that see what you have seen. Blessed are the ears that hear what you have heard. This is my body given for you. This is my blood poured out for you. When I do my end of the day kind of life examination, very brief, kind of get ready for bed and say, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And, and I, I think about that my eyes on that day have seen the Holy Eucharist, right? I think about, I try to bring into my mind the moment in the mass where I have elevated the host and I look on the host with the eyes of faith and that is the presence of christ right don't we believe that that is god from god light from light true god from true god but that is only known to us by the gift of faith and blessed are your eyes that see and blessed are your ears that hear because christ has come hasn't he but how do we know that how is it possible? It sounds too good to be true, frankly. Give me a, give me a microscope and let me look at that host. It's just, a, it's not, what are you talking about? It's only with the eyes of faith, right? And let me tell y'all, faith only comes to a humble heart. I've heard it said that humility is the queen of all virtue, or humility is the gateway of all virtues. And so when Jesus prays as the childlike, the childlike, with a heart open to the voice of the Father, This day, as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, to remember our Lord's first coming and anticipate his second coming, because that's what we're doing, right? And participate in this experience of his presence, of his coming here now in the Holy Eucharist. I say to you, and I mean it, blessed are the eyes that see what you see, and blessed are the ears that ear, hear what you hear.
for many prophets and kings desired to see and hear, but did not. And so today, let us remember the great blessing that we have to be Christian, to be Catholic, to be here, to see and hear what we get to see and hear.